hide that for just a second here. All right, so I'm going to leave that right just like that. And now what we'll do is we need to work on the card, okay? So we're going to take the card here and create, start with a marquee tool. And you'll notice that the marquee can go to any size. Well, most cards are 5 by 7 so let's go to Fixed Ratio. We're going to go to 5 by 7 and now that that's 5 by 7 we can now make this size we can just move it around you'll see that it stays constrained to the 5 by 7 dimensions make sure that width is 5 and height is 7 now come back over to our layers here and we want to create a brand new layer again this is the new layer icon just click that we get a brand new layer is called layer 1 we'll double click the name and we'll name this card so now that this is card we will fill this with white so I'm going to hit control delete again make sure that this is selected control delete and we want to move this to the topmost layer that's going to put it above the other two I'm going to collapse it for a minute hide that out of the way and I'm going to hit control D just to make sure that this actually is deselected use my move tool here now we have our floating card now to make this look three-dimensional what we need to do is this is going to be the front of our card so we're going to put it right here just like so and we're going to hit control T control T will give us the transform box using the control key and then clicking the sides will allow us to move it around in an angle such as this or we can click on one handle and only move around one corner in perspective hitting the escape key will bring us back to our normal default so we're gonna hit control T and from there we're going to actually move this up just slightly so I'm holding my control key and you'll notice that it can move any direction so obviously that's not gonna to look too good so we wanna bring it we wanna actually because it's going into the distance we wanna make sure that it compresses just a little bit it gets a little bit skinnier. We still want to stick to the true 5x7, but basically just want to bring it in a little bit because we know it's going into the distance, and that's fine. Now, once that happens, we can go ahead and hit Enter. Okay. Now, once that's complete, because it is going into the distance, we want to make a couple minor adjustments. We're going to hit Control-T again, but this time we're going to hold down the Control key, and I'm going to click this arrow here. And I'm going to also hold down my shift key. That will keep this point constrained to either up and down or left or right. It won't really let me do too much more than that. So I'm going to bring this down just slightly just to make this a little bit wider on this end. Okay. I want to bring this in. And I'm just kind of tweaking this just until I get it kind of to the effect that I want. I'm going to bring that up just a little bit. Like that. And bring this out. That looks pretty good. So once you get it to the desired effect using your control, your shift, and just clicking on either the individual handles or on the side handles here, you can just continue adjusting the card to any, um, really, really just to the perspective that you're going for on this particular um, image here. So once we have that in place, get it just exactly how we want it here, and then hit enter. So now that we have the first section of our card set up, now what we can actually do is it makes it really simple to make the second part. So all we need to do is click on our layers. We're going to take our, our next layer. We're going to duplicate that layer, but this time we're going to bring it below so that it's behind this layer. And we're going to double click. We're going to fill this. We're going to do color overlay. And we're going to pick a light gray and hit OK and hit OK here now that color is affected you can see it here you can see that that layer is behind there and I'm going to select the backmost layer and now I'm going to hit control T that is going to transform the card now you can see we can move that second layer around so I'm going to bring this back just a little bit like that and then hit enter so now you can see that second part of the card is now created so I'm going to bring up my layers again. This time I'm going to actually shift, um, shift or control click these two layers together so that we can move the card around. I'm going to move it kind of to the center. And everything's looking pretty good so far. 
So now the next step is really just to select this main layer here, just to add a little bit of a shadow. I'm going to hit Alt, and then I'm going to bring this down, holding Shift again, so Shift and Alt together, and we're going to let this actually overlap, okay? Because this is going to go completely behind. We're going to grab this layer, bring it down behind the other layers here, and then we're going to come over to Opacity and bring the Opacity way, way down. Okay, to about 20%. That's what gives us that reflection. Now, if you choose, you can always do this after the fact once you've added your graphics so that your graphics actually are in the reflection too, except that that requires a separate step that will um, you'll have to do some other things with perspective. But for right now, that's how you create your basic card. Okay, so now that we're done with that, the next step is to actually add the text and the graphics. So let's go ahead and add on some text. So first thing is we create a brand new layer and we're going to type in Happy Valentine. So happy. And that's like really massive, gigantic. So let's just bring that down for a minute here. And I'm going to come to my layers. Make sure that's the topmost layer since that will actually be on my card. And I'm going to bring the text size down to about 30. And we're going to put happy and then valentines, just like that. Okay. And now that that's finished, we're going to hit Control T and kind of resize it roughly to the size that we'll need it for the card. And then what we want to do is also rasterize this particular layer. So we're going to right click and we want to actually come down to rasterize type. So we rasterize that. So all good is ready to go. So you can see it's not really mapped to the dimensions of the card. You're gonna, we're gonna use the perspective on this. So we need to come over to our layers and you can see, make sure that this layer is selected, then click on your rectangle or marquee and then make sure that this is no longer set to the fixed aspect ratio. Go ahead and just select your text, hit Control X. Control X will copy that or cut it out of the photo into the clipboard. It's not completely gone. We didn't delete it out of the image. That's not a delete option. The Control X is actually just to um, basically remove that particular layer and put it into the clipboard. So now what we can do is come over to Filter, Vanishing Point, okay, and then inside of the Vanishing Point document, we'll actually, um, or actually inside of the Vanishing Point options menu we'll be able to look at this in a little bit more detail so let me go ahead and shrink this down because it's showing a little bit big right now alright so there's our card alright so let me get this kind of lined up in our little window here alright so there's our card and we need to make our perspective now. So we'll first click on the very first corner being here, next corner being here, and then coming down to the bottom, 